we're only seeing half the coin at this point, you know, that there's a hardware side of AI that hasn't even hit the, the end user. There's a guy um, on YouTube, his name is like Network Steve or something. He's this, you know, this really knowledgeable networking infrastructure guy. And he's been showing like how he took, you know, five Mac studios and built something on his desk that can run the large, you know, 405 billion parameter deep seek model. We have only started to see the thinnest tail of that, you know, that dragon, because when that, when the, the consumer grade, you know, chips and computers start hitting, I mean, we're, you know, I'm running off a of basically a glorified gaming computer. Yeah, you know, my office gets hot actually when, you know, when I'm, when I'm really hitting that GPU, you know, the temperature down here goes up and, you know, it's, it's running really hard. And I would say I probably got, you know, hardware that is at the, you know, 98 percentile of what, you know, most end users are running and it's still highly constrained. And so I think when we start seeing the custom AI chips and the, the mini computers that you can easily, you know, kind of string together, kind of the, the hardware MCP, you know, side of things, um, you know, that's when, that's when we're going to see the other side of the coin that, you know, it's not just the, the software models getting better and faster, but the hardware running them gets a lot faster. Yeah. That's again, it just flows back to my, the amount of cognition. Once you start adding it to physical objects, to robots, to cars, to just, just think about how much cognition is required. It could be, could be layered into society with just these things alone. It's going to be more than what humans could use. It's going to be a lot more probably. You know, one thing that I know that I will invest in straight away when it is it is actually real is a robot to do household chores. Like I will have, I mean, if it costs me $20,000, right? To, to think how much time that will save our family um, on a yearly basis uh, and just being able to do other things with not having to worry about any of that stuff. I mean, I mean, we all, like if I just weigh up like my cleaning bills and my, um uh nanny bills and all and all that kind of stuff now like, i mean it's just like 100 worth it i mean the, again it's just like a i just see the roi on that sort of thing so high um and then you just think about that you extrapolate that out to every part of the um every part of the economy i mean it's just it's just unbelievable how big that is going to be